Hey everyone, Anthony here, Six Kill Mafia. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the first look footage of the 1989 Batmobile by Jazz Inc. Dioramas. As most of you guys know, I've had Yost, the owner of Jazz Inc. on my show several times, where we've talked about in great detail about this Batmobile. Now we're finally having a chance to actually see video footage of this prototype as it's nearing its production phase. As far as the afterburner, I can't really compare as the footage really isn't showing off anything from the Hot Toys one currently. But this Jazz Inc. version, as we can see here, is looking pretty awesome, especially with all the smoke effect here. There's a lot of things right out of the gate that I've noticed between the Hot Toys version and is that is that the front yellow lights still need to be recessed. I mean, I know the cockpit glass should be much larger and the lines in the front definitely uh, need to be not so curved as much. Uh, it's so far, it looks like Yost has managed um, to make these windows look at the proper size. It seems that he's added the right amount of curve to the rear wings here and um, got the actual the accuracy of the curve up front is what it's looking like to me. Also noticing here that the front cone uh, is drooped down just a little bit, which is really how it should be. I noticed on the Hot Toys one, it's a bit too straight. So nice little attention to detail here. Again, a little hard to compare the headlights right now as we're not really seeing any on the Hot Toys one versions here, uh, but seeing Jazz Inks here is looking pretty bright. Even in a well-lit room like this, we can definitely see them light up nicely. As of the recording of this video, December, 2023, there have been additional features added at no extra charge. I'd like to talk about here with you guys today while we show this off showing off this front view here we can really tell the size difference between these two I think they both look great but Jazz Inc is definitely larger as you can clearly see this thing is a beast in comparison with even Warner Brothers and a lot of external experts saying it is the most accurate scale model ever made of the 89. A couple of other noticeable differences here as you can tell is that the rear wings here are a little bit too straight on the Hot Toys, I've noticed that, and the rear shell, it, it's coming off the engine just a little too much, and I know there's not a lot of footage here to see that, but there are some differences here that you can see. Uh, also that the roof line here is just quite not as round enough, and the rear vents seem to be, you know, a little diff different shape. You can tell, you can totally tell the difference here between the two. Also, I'm very excited about the die cast parts. Now, I do know that Yost did say the exact number of die cast parts, uh, will be determined based on final order numbers and the structural integrity, of course. Uh, but that's definitely another awesome welcome change. Uh, again, as we've mentioned before previously on streams and in Yost's group, uh, the custom pearl black satin automotive paint as well is looking very snappy to me. Uh, definitely think it looks very awesome. Uh, and also, let's not forget, you know, we're going to have that remote controlled smoke, the lights, the sound effects. I mean, it's pretty awesome, guys. Carpeting on the floor. Uh, you know, you got the brake, the clutch, the throttle pedals. I mean, there's just so much here to digest and unpack. Looking at the dashboard here, you can definitely tell. I mean, there's so much custom silkscreen detail um, all throughout the dashboard here. All the prints, man. There's dozens of added dashboard lights. I mean, this, this looks awesome, guys. I'm not going to lie. Like, just this whole thing lit up looks absolutely amazing to me. I also noticed that the metal grills around the car is actually a big difference in detail as well. And it is important to note that the final version will have actual silicone coated leather seats, by the way, to prevent any kind of flaking and a leather effect all around the cockpit, which we're not seeing here currently. It is also important to note, I think, that the uh, no other model in any scale so far uh, has done the side pods uh, as they should be. They should be different on both the passenger and the driver's side. And it looks like Jazz Inc. is going on board with that which is really awesome. The level of detail and accuracy so far is absolutely amazing. Also, I do know that they will be doing some minor tweaks on the turbine shroud and the rims and a little bit in the front lights, but just very small tweaks as this is yeah, inching its way into production. I do know that pre-orders are gonna be cut off on January 1st, 2024. So that is New Year's Day. That is just in a couple of weeks here, guys. So if you guys do wanna get your pre-orders in, Make sure to go do so shortly there over at Jazz Inc's website. I'll put a link in the description if you guys don't know about it already. Now, I do know, right? Everybody's probably like, well, what, what do we do, right? We have two different versions here. I mean, you've got a Hot Toys version. It's a little bit cheaper. Um, absolutely. I totally get that nowadays, man, especially. I mean, money's tight. But honestly, I think at the end of the day, all of these features, they're going to come at a cost, man. Um, but I, I believe that, you know, we have to remember that this is going to be the most movie accurate six scale vehicle ever produced. You know, the 89 Batmobile is iconic, it's classic, it's timeless. Uh, I genuinely believe this is going to be a centerpiece in any collection to be enjoyed, man, for years to come. So, uh, you know, up to you guys, obviously, of course, man. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. You know, are you going with the Jazz Inc. version? Are you going with the Hot Toys version? Let me know, guys. Uh, again, thanks for stopping by. 
You guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video.